everybody all my followers be welcome to another video so uh, the video today it's on a 2005 uh, Volkswagen Golf uh, with the I believe this is the 1.6 petrol engine uh, I was actually recording a video uh, diagnosing this because when I got the car I was actually told uh, the car uh, would miss uh, would miss firing uh, it was sort of uh, jerking uh, only when it was warm. However, I went for a drive and the car uh, kind of jerks really really bad But it's not the engine is the gearbox Now uh, I think what I'm gonna do here and the title will probably suggest is not gonna fix the problem I'm only gonna do it to show you uh, the top tone artipad one doing it um, I still have the tool so we're gonna take advantage of that um, I don't need to take you through why I have this tool. Um, I just, I still have it, so we're going to make this uh, uh, procedure. Uh, it's not going to fix the problem, most likely. Uh, the car, it really, really, uh, uh, I'll, I'll put it across, it really jerks badly, uh, changing gears, especially uh, the first three gears, uh, first to second, second to third, and third to fourth. It, it really kicks you back. It's, 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 is hammering the gears in is really really harsh um, higher gears 5th and 6th is not so bad still does it a little bit uh, dropping down gears is not so bad either but he does it and he only does it when he's warm so I'm not really sure I'm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a gearbox problem I'm gonna I'm going to advise the guy to um, to get a, a oil change and filter change and have the gearbox checked by Someone that actually um, knows a bit about these gearboxes. Um, this is not my 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 area of expertise. Uh, there's no codes on the box, which is really strange for how the car is behaving, as I'm going to show you. Uh, I just came for a drive about 20 minutes just to test the car because I haven't drove the car before. Um, and I wanted to see exactly what happened, but immediately it was obvious that it was not the engine doing. Uh, well, oh, sorry, the key is off. It was obvious that it was not the the engine doing this. Uh, it was the gearbox. Although there's no codes, RPMs, inputs, output shafts, everything matches. There's nothing really. It's, it's not going to read the. Uh, there's nothing really obvious. Uh, there is, however. Yeah, I knew that. There is, however, uh, on the live data, an error. There we go, so no fault codes. And I literally just got back home uh, about five minutes ago, plugged in the, the charger, and I'm just gonna reflash this to you, if it's possible. Let's hope it is, otherwise you won't see this video anyway. <laughs> but just literally to show you uh, the hard to pad doing it. So, let's gonna go back. Uh, and the data stream, I would like to show you this just in case it's, if it's still showing, which is somewhere here shows let me see That was it. This, this was the live data that would show me. It doesn't show nothing now. Uh, but it would show, maybe because it's off, would show error. That's the only thing. Uh, but as I said, I don't think it's a software issue. Uh, but we're going to try a flash just to show you. So, to do that, so we, this is the main menu of the Artipad once you log in into the car. Okay. And we're going to go online functions, online programming, press OK. There's a takes a long time, that's fine. So USB cable is already plugged in, charger is already plugged in. Uh, there is one thing I would love to see on the Artipad, just curiosity while it loads. Uh, I've actually already sent my feedback to Topton. Um, and to diagnostic connections. Once again, I will leave the link in the description below 
for uh, the guys that um, lend me this tool for me to try. Um, I would love to see somewhere on this screen, um, just the same as the Maxi sees. I would love to see um, a live voltage reading so you would know exactly what's going on. Unfortunately, it doesn't have that option. So th this is going to, so we have two options here. So you have, damn it, I should have done that. So I'm going to come out again. Sorry about that. So you have two options there. Which is, it's a small disclaimer there. So you have two options in there. One is automatic. The other one is a manual. Uh, the manual, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it's going to ask you for the part numbers and all that stuff. Uh, I'm not saying the, only, the automatic is not going to do the same. But we are going to try the automatic. I'm already connected to my wireless at home. So we'll try the automatic mode uh, again. So because I have already uh, kind of scanned this car earlier to check, uh, I believe it looks for all the modules and shows the ones that are possible to program. Uh, I guess because it goes through pretty much all the modules. And in the end, as you've just seen earlier, it shows me three modules that are possible uh, to program. Okay, so there it is. Now, if we click, click to program the transmission module. Okay, so it comes up with that. So this is my files. So the system information. I need that. There we go. Do you want to choose for programming? Yes, I want. Okay, note that the size current download is about. Do you want to download it? Yes, I want. The function will need to download files. Yes, download my files. I don't know how quick it's gonna be. Oh actually quick. Okay. I believe this refreshing ECU actually means programming. One of the things I've noticed while it's doing it is that the gearbox uh, information underneath there just gone and is now refreshing. Refreshing, I, I think you should read reflashing or programming. Refreshing is a little bit of a, a wrong terminology in my opinion but okay I'm not gonna be here obviously waiting for the percentage to go up to 100 uh, I'll pause the video a bit and we'll come back when it's nearly done and we are now 50% and that's about five minutes later so it looks like it's gonna take about 10 minutes uh, to do the wall flash Okay, and I'll take you through the last 2% and indeed looks like it took about 10 minutes to do this. Uh, so not too bad really. So 100%, let's see what happened next. Turn the ignition off and then turn it back on. So straight away I've seen uh, the gearbox information came back on. It's going to turn it off then for about 30 seconds as it says. Okay, ignition back on, press OK, yes I am, we'll wait to see what happens, but you should just uh, like it's clearing the codes, just in case if any codes have been triggered while the ECU was sort of offline. Uh, okay, so this is my information. Uh, the interesting thing here is, before update, okay, so 
it looks like it's the same so this is where I'm 90% sure if this is the same uh, if the if the ECU was flashed with the new software or if it's with the exact same software I strongly believe that's gonna be my software number maybe I'm not 100% sure but in there you can see there is something different there uh, but everything else is exactly the same but I think the best way to know which is something that I was thinking about it while I was programming so I'm just gonna take a picture of this all right now was not there hold on what I've done is here that's it so we'll go back so this is done it does no no okay so we'll go back now yes okay that's all right so what I'm gonna do now guys is while I'm on online programming I'm gonna do this again there we go so it comes up exactly with the same file so it, I strongly believe all it did, no refresh file is chosen, return, okay. So I believe what the, yes. So I believe what uh, it did was actually reflash the same uh, software, which is actually good. Because if you have a corrupted software, you know it can flash with the same. So it's not gonna necessarily look for the latest. And if there's no uh, latest software, let's say if the software on this you is the same as the one that is online he could refuse to update because it's already the same but no he actually looks like he's able to reflash just the same uh, software again which just did guys i don't think this problem is fixed i, I will go just for a quick drive just to check but it, it didn't look to me like this was a, a software issue so but anyway this video was not about the uh, diagnostic or repair of this car it was purely to show you how to uh flash uh, a Volkswagen in this case uh, gearbox with the Artipad one uh, quite straightforward as you have seen guys uh, anyone can do it really um, some cars I know for a fact some cars it doesn't have the automatic function it looks like you need to go manually and input the part number of the, the module you are programming and then yes the the, um, the tool will look online for um, for the availability of a software for that particular module. So, um, I don't know if you're gonna find this interesting or not. Still, nevertheless, guys, I hope that there's some information on this video you are gonna find useful. Um, as I said on my other videos for the Antipod, I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to sell the tool or anything like that. I'm just showing you uh, through what it's capable to do while I have it in my possession. Um, as I said, it's been lent to me. I will leave the links, once again, I'll leave the links in the description below uh, where where I got this tool from. Uh, and while I have it, I'm going to try to do as much as I can with it. So it can help you guys a little bit, make a decision if you are on the market for a tool. So we know for the you guys, hope there's some information here you find useful. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you do have any questions, any comments, please put them in the, the, in, uh, in the comments below. And like always, guys, Thanks for watching.